Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. We're on the top of a mountain. And you may ask, why are you on the top of a mountain, Guaylao? What's the matter with you? Well, we're here with the Datang uh, Power Company showing off the windmills. They've got a project going on here that uh, uh, they're changing from unclean coal power to clean renewable power in a big way. In, and we're, we're just outside of uh, the city of Binyang in southern Guangxi Autonomous Region. They've got, you see the, the, the big windmills behind me here. They've already put up 90 of these. They've got another 25 to go. And uh, it's quite a feat because it, it's taken us, well, coming out of Nanning, it took us about an hour and a half to get here. Uh, then it took us about a half an hour just to uh, drive up this one mountain. And I was thinking it's a hill. No, it's a mountain. We're, uh, we're on top of the world here, guys. Each of these units kicks out a whack, a whack of power. Until you get up right close to these puppies, you don't really know how huge they actually are. This is the base of one of them. Like, seriously. Sure makes me look small, doesn't it? And, uh, let's look, let's look up. We're up uh, anywhere from 113 to 894 meters on, on, uh, on the mountain and uh, you can see, like, coming out here, you can see these windmills all along the top of the mountain range type thing and uh, it's sort of nice to see. Renewable power and everybody gives China this bad rap for pollution and, and whatever. It's not like that here anymore, guys. That was back then. That was a, that was a long, long time ago. Now, China, they know they had a problem, and what they're doing is they're fixing it. How are they fixing it? By initiatives like this. Not, on, not only the windmills and the wind power uh, that's renewable, but they're all the way out here in the Binyang area. I was, uh, I was seeing solar farms too. So it's not just the wind, but it's the solar. Just think of the colossal feat it is to move all of this big machinery up the side of a mountain. Each one of those blades up there, 14 and a half tons. The centerpiece, 28 and a half tons. Uh, as far as the, the, the base of it, I have no idea how much it would, uh, it would weigh, but I would guarantee you they're not bringing it up in one piece, they're bringing it up in sections. But holy moly man, they've got some pretty big equipment here. So they actually have five of these projects uh, that they've done. This is, uh, they're getting into the, the third stage of this one here in the Binyang area. Uh, they put up 90 units uh, since April of 2017. So they've been going pretty fast and furious at this. They've got another 25 to put up and uh, then this project's done and then they move on to another project. Uh, they've got, as, a, as they were saying there, they've got five other other projects that they that they've done. Uh, this is a this is a big project that's uh, that's that's being taken on by the Datang uh, Power Company. Uh, just think the money, the labor, everything that goes into doing something like this, and uh, it's because they want clean energy. They want renewable energy. They want to be able to uh, not have pollution anymore. Uh, they used to use coal back in the day, and coal is unclean. Coal is not renewable. Coal creates pollution. They're, they're, China's moving away from that stuff, guys. And uh, you can see by what uh, what I'm looking at, what a beautiful, pristine place. There's a, there's no pollution here. Uh, you know, when you when you when you look over here behind me, you've got Binyang over here. You got farmland into here. You've got a big old lake over there. You've got mountains. You've got you know pristine wilderness. Like this is this is some pretty nice places out here. China's always beautiful. Everywhere we go in China, uh, it sort of astounds me that it is such a beautiful place. And the Chinese know what they've got, and uh, they don't want to wreck it. They're changing their uh, their way of uh, getting electricity to their people. They're going cleaner, they're going renewable, they're spending the money, they're doing everything that they have to do to make it a better place to live. 
And by putting these windmills on the top of the mountain like they, like they do, uh, not only do they utilize the wind because it's windy up here, I, I'm always finding places where it's not so windy so I don't want to get distortion in my, in my audio. But uh, if you can hear in the background, they do make a whooshing noise. And I know that in the West, some people, when these things were put close to their home, it, uh, it annoyed the living bejesus out of them. So being on the top of a mountain like they are here, uh, they, don't, uh, they don't disturb anybody either. I think it's a great idea. And these windmills aren't just uh, a windmill. You see, they're so huge. They're, they're computer controlled. The computer knows where the sun is, where the wind's coming from. They turn into the wind and, and then they start to turn. When you're, when you're looking at uh, the top of a hill and some of them aren't moving, it's not because they're broken down, they're not using them, because they're stopped they're turning slowly because these things are big and heavy. They move slowly into the right position. When they're positioned properly, they start producing electricity. So uh, I've always wondered when I'm driving down the thing, how come that windmill's working and that one over there's, and I just asked the question and, and I guess I got educated on it. Cool, eh? And when I see an initiatives like this going on in China uh, and I show it to you, it just shows you that uh, they are doing things here that are making it better for their citizens. They, they're, they're not just talking about it. They're not just, uh, just saying we're going to do this in the future. The future is now here in China and it's actually happening now in China as you, as you can see. Uh, it's not a fable. It's not propaganda. It's, it's not fake news. It is happening and that's why I go to places like this so I can actually show you what's going on on the ground here in China and through the little YouTube channel or the little uh, Tu Tiao or Billy Billy or Weibo channels that I have, um, maybe I'll change some minds about how China actually is and not what mainstream media in the West says it is because you're getting the wrong information. This is real China. Like, look at this. This, my friends, is real China. And another thing that might surprise you, this isn't just of interest to the people in China or, or my viewers. We've actually got a, a Japanese journalist here, Atushi, and he's, he's with our contingency. So uh, people from all over the world are interested in what China's doing with re renewable energy. And uh, even the Japanese are interested. China's the largest producer of this type of equipment in the world. Yes, they are. Well, China's been the largest producer of a lot of things in the world lately, and uh, renewable energy is just one of them. So how much maintenance is there uh, on these things, and how do they do the maintenance? Well, you see, they're, they're all connected by Wi-Fi because they're all computerized. They're all connected by Wi-Fi. That's why, that's why you see these little towers like over here. And uh, that connects them to the computer in, uh, in their office. And they can tell when there's a problem with, with one of these puppies. And uh, when there's a problem, they just send personnel out to, to fix it. Uh, they, al they always have people going and checking up on them uh, manually also. But uh, it's all so computerized, all so futuristic, that uh, when something goes wrong, a little bell goes off in the computer, I guess. and. Uh, they know about it before before it becomes a big problem. They have, if a fire starts, they have fire suppression in there that just automatically starts. It's, it's strange. And you're probably wondering, how much wind does it take to run these puppies? Well, they, they start turning at three kilometers an hour. Nine kilometers an hour is basically the, the primo spot and when it gets really really windy as it would on the top of these mountains or probably anywhere um, at 20 kilometers an hour they shut her down because that's just too much and now we're at a different spot and you can basically see a little bit more of what's what's going on look at the we're on a ridge and it shows all of the the windmills on this side and then I'll turn around this way and it'll give you a, a better idea. So they follow this ridge all the way along. You know what I mean? And, and as I said, they've got 90 of these puppies already set up and they're going for another 25 in this project alone.
And that's another video from Guelao 60 on the top of a mountain in Binyang, hanging out with the windmills. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Boy, I get to go to a lot of different places, eh? Like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Bye now. 看看变动的就是随时的红土的红利。全球。One in Canada. Only one in Canada. And how many do they have across China? 